guys, as I mentioned, we're joined now by Houston Dynamo FC head coach Paul Nagamura. Uh, Paul, thank you for taking a couple of minutes with us. Uh, we'll just start off with which, uh, your overall thoughts on the game this evening, please. Uh, overall, I think uh, the team uh, played uh, very well. I think uh, the first half on CD and Tepisco was a frustrating part because I think we, are, uh, we kind of had control of the game and we, uh, we knew how Dallas could hurt us on transition moments. And with Velasco, Ariola, Ferreira playing between the lines. So um, that was frustrating. The first half, consider uh, going to halftime, it was one, one nil down. But I think the guys responded really well in the second half. I think uh, when Hector came in, Tora came in, I think, uh, I think the energy, I think the players just uh, feed off the energy of the building. I think uh, they were very, very urgent to go forward, uh, very aggressive minded. And I think that show on the field where uh, we scored a goal, we we got taken one goal from us, and we we can talk later about it. Uh, even though uh, conceding late on a transition moment again, uh, uh, the guys fought hard and 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 gave it everything we had. And, and at the end, there I think we felt that we we, we got out of this game uh, hurt and disappointed because I think. We were the better team uh, throughout the 90 minutes. We created more chances. We were more dangerous. Uh, um, and again, uh, I think the goal there was called back. Uh, it was just I'm waiting to see what's going to be the explanation this time because uh, I, I don't have one. I don't have one uh, explanation for that goal being called back. So. Um, uh, pleased with the group overall, with the way that we finished the second half, and we got a view from that. Okay, thank you, Paul. We'll start with questions here in the room in, in English. We'll start with Justin here in the front. Hey, Paul. Um, obviously, conceding late, like you guys did in stoppage time, how big was it for the guys to not give up there? You know, it looks like you know a lot of teams could just kind of give up there if we gave up the goal. But to come back, um, Darwin to have that shot and just put pressure on them and get teenage forward. Um, just kind of talk about um, what that meant. Yeah, look, we play at home, we're playing for a win. We don't play for tie. Uh, and after we scored a second goal, I was trying to urge the guys to get back and go and get a ball because we, we're not happy with the tie here. So, uh, props to our guys. They, they, fought, they fought until the end. We had chances to win the game, and I think we, um, we, we could have done a better job there on the final touch and the final, last finish. Uh, but again, I, I'll take the positives from the team, and I think it was, uh, was a very good second half overall. And it, it may go overlooked with all the craziness and stoppage time, but Steve had a couple of huge saves, one on Ferrero where he was one on one. How big is it to have a goalkeeper like Steve that can, you know, single handedly win you some points like that? Yeah, I mean, Steve is, uh, as I experienced from MLS goalkeepers, been around for long, and uh, we know what he brings to the table. He's a great leader in our locker room, and, and uh, we know that when we need him, when we need him uh, to make a save to bail us out, he, he does so. Uh, Go to Robert and back to Chris. Robert Kelly, Tech Sport Publications. Coach, what did you say at the halftime and what did you change for the second half as far as your game strategy? I think the game strategy was the same from first and second half. I think we just came up with a little bit more urgency and simplifying, simplifying the things that, were, that we, we had planned to do. I think in the first, first half, I think for a lot of times we tried to overcomplicate stuff. Try to play the final pass from 60 yards out. Uh, I think uh, in the second half we'll, we're just connecting short passes much better and pushing Dallas back. And I think that what made us uh, better in the second half. Thank you. Go ahead, Chris. I am. This is Chris of Sport Network. Um, after the after um, what's the name? Herrera made his debut today. Do you think you are finally gotten your leader? And second question is. After his performance today, have you finally gotten your missing link in the midfield? No one has a problem to the defensive midfield in the past. Yeah, look, uh, Hector brings a lot of leadership. His natural leadership skills, I think, is it, it, it's just going to uh, give us a boost there uh, in terms of uh, of leadership. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, he could, he could, he could be a missing link in the midfield. But we have to see it, right? Uh, he's only been here with with us for a week. We gotta make sure that uh, uh, we manage it physically him well because he just joined us. But yes, we will we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes throughout the throughout, throughout the weeks. Okay, we we'll go to Sam in the back, and then we got one question on Zoom in English before we switch to Spanish. Um, Coach Paul, um, what a great performance, great atmosphere, you know, the fans, great times. 
knowledge that we are missing out the NC Stadium. Look at Kenny Kadeke going forward with the offensive abilities. You know, what can you say about him? Uh, look, Kenny is your centre back. His primary uh, job is to defend and make sure that we have a solid back line there. But uh, I think it shows uh, it shows the willingness to do what he needs to be done at the end of the game to tie the game or to win the games. And and teenage has that on him. He, he never gives up. Uh, he fights until the end, and he got a word of a great goal today. So I'm happy for him. Okay. Next we'll go to a question here on Zoom from Sydney Hunt. Go ahead, Sydney. Look, Hector is going to make everyone around around them better. I think with, with the qualities that he has, I think he's going to make our team better. Uh, again, he's not a solution, but he's definitely going to increase the quality of our team. And we just got to find ways of uh, how we can we can uh, put him on our team that he can play his best soccer and 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 make the guys around him uh, better. So uh, I'm pleased with his debut. I think he was a very positive debut. And we do from this. Okay, we'll switch over to questions in Spanish. Are there any vamos a cambiar preguntas en español? Paulo, primeramente, dígame sobre el partido, por favor. Ah, bueno, eh, un juego muy típico clásico, tipo derby. Yo creo que un, un juego muy peleado, uh, donde Feliz con la con la con la gente del equipo. Yo creo que sufrimos un gol de balón parado el primer tiempo, pero yo creo que tuvimos por mayor parte del, del partido el control del juego. En segunda etapa, el segundo tiempo, creo que el equipo eh, cuando entró Hector, cuando entró Thor, yo creo que la el equipo le ganó más más energía. Uh, yo creo que la uh, la afición lo hizo muy bien. Uh, de empujar el equipo, yo creo que el, el segundo tiempo fue mucho más dominante, uh, mucho más uh, proponemos el partido mucho más, creamos muchas chances de gol y, y en mi opinión yo creo que el empate yo, yo salgo yo, yo, yo salgo desapuntado porque yo creo que merecíamos los tres puntos, principalmente por, por después de mirar el gol que sufrimos ahí, uh, perdón, el gol que marcamos y, y y no entiendo la verdad no entiendo cómo que como que el, el asistente no le, no, le, no le levanta la bandera no hay interferencia de fafa el árbitro le apunta para el medio y de, no sé de dónde de dónde viene la llamada que, que es el offside que está fuera de lugar Para mí es eh, muy desapuntado con esto porque si ustedes miran el partido de Charlotte con, con Montreal, al gol que hace Montreal, que el jugador entra uh, en la línea del portero y, los, y lo, lo, lo dejan el gol anotado. Y nosotros hoy, Fafa tampoco está en la línea del portero, no está interfiriendo con nada con el portero y lo, y lo llevamos fuera del lugar. Entonces, eh, para mí no hay consistencia, no hay. Yo quería entender de dónde ven, quién está haciendo la decisión de hacer que está fuera de lugar, porque no fue la bandera, no fue el asistente, no fue el árbitro, quién fue. Gracias. Una pregunta acá a la derecha. Hola Pablo, eh, quería saber qué te llevó a tomar la decisión de que Héctor no alineara como titular, sino que entró en la segunda mitad. Gracias. Sí, mira, es fácil, Héctor, no más. Tenía una semana de, de, de entrenamiento, no creo que está a jugar 90 minutos todavía, nosotros tenemos tres partidos en la semana, entonces tenemos que ser inteligentes a la manera que vamos a manosear esto, porque es un jugador muy importante para nosotros y no queremos que, que les haga malas cosas. Gracias. Okay. Gracias, Pablo. We'll wrap up with that, guys. Locker should be open if you need additional players. Thanks, Guys, I'm saying that'll wrap things up, bro.